everyone my name is sapna goel and my channel is sapna goel 1985 this is the first video of class 7th history lesson 5 of ncert book rulers and buildings the chapter starts with a short description of qutub minar it is a unesco world heritage site it is in mehrauli area of delhi and the building has five stories So Kutubuddin Aibak started the construction of this building at around 1199 AD. Then Iltutmish got the rest of the three floors uh, constructed at around 1229 AD and the remaining the last floor was constructed by Firoz Shah Tughlaq. Then over time the building was even damaged because of earthquake and lightning. So the building was repaired by Alauddin Khilji, Muhammad Tughlaq, Firoz Shah Tughlaq and Ibrahim Lodi. Look at the designs and patterns on the building. We can see arches on it. Uh, you can see two bands of inscriptions which are written in Arabic and you can even notice the geometrical patterns and designs on the building. The building uh, the surface of the building is curved and angular. All this required great precision. which was not easy at that point of time dear children during 8th and 18th century kings and their officers got two types of buildings or structures constructed one was for the safety and grandeur of the king that is for showing power and wealth another one was for public activity so for safety they got forts constructed palaces tombs garden residences that is a residence in between gardens or surrounded by gardens and for public activity they got temples constructed mosque tank well karva sarai bazaars karva sarai is an inn meant for travelers that is when travelers move from one place to another at night time they need to rest somewhere so it's just like a hotel built by the government but for free this is a picture of nampalli sarai in hyderabad it is in india Uh, these are the remains of the building and then uh, merchants also got some buildings constructed for example temples mosques wells uh, mansions or havelis so the next topic is engineering skills and construction in this we are going to talk about technologies used for construction of old buildings Now students let's discuss some of the technologies used for construction of superstructure the part of a building above the ground floor is called as superstructure as you can see in the picture children if only four walls have to be created it is easy but what if first floor second floor the roof has to be created so building becomes very heavy and it can fall so some techniques architectural styles are required to make the building strong so let's discuss some of these first one is trabeat trabeat means placing a horizontal beam across two vertical columns as you can see in the picture column is also called as post these are vertical pillars and you can see that beam is placed horizontally over the columns beam is also called as lintel look at another picture of beam and how it is supporting the roof another style is uh, making arch or arcuate arches are generally created over windows and doors so that they can also carry heavy weight of the building arches are of many designs but the two that are discussed in your book are true arch and corbel arch so true arch and corbel arch look somewhat like this true arch has a keystone at the center and look how the stones are vertically placed along with each other in case of corbel arch the stones are placed horizontally This is another picture of corbelled arch and true arch and columns and beams. And this is the real picture of how corbel arch and true arch were made in buildings. Then next technique is used as of using limestone cement. Limestone cement is mixed with stone chips so that it can harden into concrete. And you know cements make the building very hard. so with this construction became very easy and fast thank you so much please do not forget to like and subscribe